Cuomo facing more allegations on two fronts tonight. One of several women accusing him of sexual harassment met with investigators for four hours today. This is claim surface that an aide to the governor called county officials looking for support. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. Charlotte Bennett has been one of Governor Cuomo's most vocal accusers. According to her lawyers, she met with investigators to provide them with more than 120 pages of records and documents to corroborate her allegations that Governor Cuomo was grooming her for a sexual liaison. And its lawyer, Deborah Katz, issued a statement saying, quote, We remain confident that their investigation will substantiate Charlotte's claims of sexual harassment against Governor Cuomo. One piece of new information that came to light today was the governor's preoccupation with his hand size and what the large size of his hands indicated to Charlotte and other members of his staff. The governor's in crisis and his crisis has become a distraction to the whole state. While seven women have accused Cuomo of sexual harassment or inappropriate behavior, allegations the governor denies, the mayor focused on the crisis du jour, claims that one of the governor's top aides, vaccine czar Larry Schwartz, called county executives to gauge their support. What we've heard is about the governor and his team trying to link vaccine supply to political support. That is the definition of corruption. Uh, it is disgusting. It is dangerous. The mayor wants a new investigation into Schwartzgate. But for his part, Larry Schwartz said he did nothing wrong. Meanwhile, voters in a new Siena College poll simply don't agree with the clarion call for Cuomo's resignation from almost every corner of the political world. By a margin of 50 percent to 35 percent, they say Cuomo should not resign. The positive feelings of some supporters was on full display at a vaccine clinic at the state university at Westbury. Tracy Edwards is the head of the NAACP on Long Island. So, Governor, I thank you for being here. You stay continuing to lead us through this crisis because we need you. While voters don't want Governor Cuomo to quit, they also don't want him to run again. Only about a third said they would support a fourth term. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And late today, Beth Garvey, the acting counsel to the governor, issued a statement saying that any suggestion that Larry Schwartz acted unethically is patently false.